So first, today we're going to be covering white. We're going to cover white because there's a preconceived notion and misconception of what white is. What white means according to social standards and what white means according to law. We know that the terms white, or if we don't know, we'll learn today that white and black are terms used for the designation of people, or the identification of people, and our socio-political constructs used in order to bias one over another. This is not a new concept, but a concept that was adopted recently by European settlers here in the United States of America post-1863, where the Wigamore Party and the so-called Red Man became the uh, what they called the White Man, as Satan sometimes calls himself. Huh. So here we are on Black Soul Dictionary, fourth edition. If you would come over here, um, if you would come around so that the viewers can see the uh, mm. the screen. I don't have a projector yet, guys. Feel free to leave a donation. Mm. Sorry. See, when we look for white hair, nothing comes up. Yeah, white knight, white horse case, white collar crime, white book, white acre. Nothing that designates a white, pe white person. You see white slavery, you see white That's about it. Well, let's look up. Free white person. Oh no, stay here. <laughs> By the way, you can find this some more material at mkt.com slash angel and training n o one. You can find um black soil dictionaries one through seven. As well as um and, and um they'll be uh, categorized by letter, and you can also catch one like this. That is just one full uh one large full file. Well, it's not that large. Anyway, just for reference, it's always good to know the pages of where things are. So we're going to write down the name of the book, the page, and, uh, of course, the word and definition. So that we're sure of what we're saying or what we're talking about when we're using and employing these words, especially and particularly pertaining to law. Oh, you know what? I, I know why I can't find free white person. I accidentally went into the Black Soul Dictionary, ninth edition. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Ninth edition doesn't show what white person is or free white person. And this is as recent as 2009. In the last class, which wasn't recorded, I had shown how, depending on how recent the dictionary is, certain words won't be used because it's, you know, they're 
you know, you know, so-called niggas just started reading. So it's real difficult to, you know, I, I, I hide certain things so they just want to publish it. And now here we go. This is the juice right here. Black's Law Dictionary by Henry Campbell Black. Revised 4th edition, 1968. Now, huh? free white person. White person and free white person, we looked up and we couldn't find either. Mm, Cause I just see white race and that one was interesting. Okay, which, which dictionary is that one then? Uh, blacks. Which one? Fourth edition. Fourth edition? Oh, you see white race there? Mm-hmm. We're gonna start with free white person first and then we're gonna go there. And as you see, you know, we're doing this around the laptop. It's very easy. You can do this yourself. This isn't anything that is out of the ordinary or, you know, Moore's got the ultimate secrets of life, like by reading dictionaries enough, and it's just, you know, knowing the language and knowing how to use it. For some people, you know, they say that the Black Soul Dictionary is like a Moore's Bible. I don't know where they get that from. I don't understand that. It's merely a book of reference. It says here, free white persons, referred to in the Naturalization Act as amended by Act July 14th, 1870. Mind you, the first one was in 1790, but of course it had been revised a few times in this dictionary is in 1968. But um, has meaning naturally given to it when first used in one statute, 103, section C3, meaning all persons belonging to the European races then commonly counted as white, and their descendants, including such descendants in other countries to which they have emigrated. It includes all European Jews, more or less intermixed with peoples of Celtic, Scandinavian, Teutonic, Iberian, Latin, Greek, and Slavic descent. It includes Magyars, Laps, and Finns, and the Bas and Albanians. It includes the mixed Latin, Celtic, Iberian, and Moorish inhabitants of Spain and Portugal, the mixed Greek, Latin, Phoenician, and North African inhabitants of Sicily, the mixed Greek, Latin, Phoenician, and North African inhabitants of Sicily, and the mixed Slav and Tartar inhabitants of South Russia. It does not mean Caucasian race, Aryan race, or Indo-European races nor the mixed Indo-European, Dravidian, Semitic, and Mongolian peoples who inhabit Persia. A Syrian of Asiatic birth and descent will not be entitled to become a naturalized citizen of the United States as being a free white person. Ex parte Shahid, so-and-so-and-so-and-so, nor native-born Filipino, so-and-so-and-so-and-so, nor a native of India who belonged to what race? The Hindu race. That's Karatif Ram Samaras. You know that brother was Hindu versus United States. Free woman of color. Term up to the time of the Civil War applied to all persons not of the white race, including Indians. It said all persons not of the white race. Damn. Because even at that time, a woman had less rights than a man. So you, they had to make sure you had no rights whatsoever. And what's particularly interesting is that they tell you that the mixed Latin, Celtic, Iberian, and Moorish inhabitants of Spain and Portugal, and in the same breath, give you Phoenician and North African inhabitants of Sicily. But then turn around and tell you, that it doesn't include the Indo-Europeans, Dravidian, Semitic, and Mongolian peoples who inhabited Persia. So when they're telling you that certain nationalities weren't included, they were telling you which portion. It wasn't just so much the nationality as much as the nationality that was living in a particular area or place at that time. You know what I'm saying? So if you were an Indo-European, Dravidian, Semitic, or Mongolian, 
who inhabited Persia, then you don't you don't fit the bill. Mm. But of course, if you didn't if specifically, you weren't that. And you know, maybe I am reaching, but I don't. I, I very sure that law in America is very specific, and when they say something, they mean exactly what they said. Not not inside, not anything out or anything to draw conjecture of. It's very straightforward. It's very decisive. It's very mathematical in nature, you know. So we kind of found white persons in 2009. We found free white person here um, from the um, as is me as is used in the Naturalization Act of July 14th, 1870. Um, there was another one, I think 1956 or something like that. Um, I believe, yeah, it was 1956. But now when we go here to, um, and I just had it to. Uh, okay, well, I have to find it now. Let's look up standard form 181. And we're going to go right here, boom. Open. How you doing, Sister Secretary? Good. I'm good. Boom. Boom. Now, can you zoom in a little? Huh? Ethnicity and race identification. It says here, ethnicity and race information is requested under the authority of Title 42 of the United States Code, Section 2000E16, and in compliance with the Office of Management and Budgets 1997 revisions to the standards for the classification of federal data on race and ethnicity. ETC, blah, blah. Your employing agency will, will attempt to identify your race and ethnicity by visual observation. You heard? But in the instance of missing information, your employing agency will attempt to identify your race and ethnicity by visual observation. So if you look like a Negro and you act like a Negro, they basically go and presume that you're a Negro. If you walk in there with a fez and turban, there's something wrong. I, mm, I wonder where he's from. He can't be, not, mm, you know. It says this information is used as necessary to plan for equal employment opportunity throughout the federal government. <laughs> All right. Social Security number is requested under the authority of Executive Order 9397, which requires the Social Security number be used for the purpose of uniform, orderly administration of personnel records. Providing this information is voluntary, and failure to do so will have no effect on your employment status. Are you, are you understanding? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be giving up your number just to be working. So y'all do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying, and make sure you protect yourself. Now watch this. These two questions below are designated to identify your ethnicity and race. Regardless of your answer to question one, go to two. Question one, are you Hispanic or Latino? A person of Cuban, Mexican, Puerto Rican, South or Central American, or other Spanish culture or origin, regardless of race? Why do they always ask that question? Because they want to know if you're of Moorish descent or not. Because mm -hmm. there was a papal bull in 1513 that had all the Moorish people renamed as Spanish. And the people who were renamed as Spanish are now known as Cuban, Mexican, Puerto Rican, South or Central American, or other Spanish culture or origin, regardless of race, whether it be the white race, the black race, ETC. Then, after they figure, you know, have you figure out if you're of Moorish descent or not, they hit you with question two. Please select the racial category or categories with which you most closely identify by placing an X in the appropriate box. It says American Indian or Alaska Native, a person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America, including Central America, and who maintains tribal affiliation or community attachment. Let's go to black or African American. 
a person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. Okay, let's go to white. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. Standard Form 181, revised August 2005. Well, I don't know too much about Bing, but everybody's familiar with Google. So, we're going to hit this up right here. And um, let's go, let's just type in. Let's go into images. Let's see what kind of images come up for original people of North Africa. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, that's right. How about that? That looked like a moor with his turban on. Those sisters right there look like they Muslim or Yehudic. Look at the moor right here with his turban. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Look, my man right here. He look like he could be like Cuban or something. Dominican or something. Hey, check my man right here. He from my projects. <laughs> look at look at these look, look at these moors right here. Oh, look at these moors. Look look that's Day Day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like that's that's, that's Naquana. <laughs> that's Lorinda. You can say right. Yeah. Okay. Look that's Mo. <laughs> Look, that's an original person. Oh, really? Mm. Is that so? It, really? <laughs> it's, no, you just got to pay attention. Look, but look, look how they look how they right next to each other though. Mm -hmm. Look how they right next to each other. I didn't yeah, make this up. Right. They trying to tell you like, yo, listen, I'm trying to look at my man right here. This dude robbed me three years ago. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is, look, the original people in North Africa. <clears throat> look. Oh, look at the Berbers were the original people of North Africa. Just so everybody knows, in Arabic, the way to say more is Berberi. Mm. West of the Nile Valley, between 14 and 25 million Berber speakers live within this region, most densely in Morocco. <laughs> Your descendant of Moroccans are born in America. Most Berbers live a traditional way of life and have their own language. The Berbers that live in the mountains are farmers, while those living in the desert are nomads. Most practice Islam, although other religions are allowed. It doesn't that look like hieroglyphics? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Score one for the Kemet, Kemet, Kemetic scholars and Egyptologists. Mm -hmm. They got one. That means they white too. They can't escape it. So that would make them what? Does that does that make them free white? Oh, you know this one from your hood. Do you know this one from your hood? <laughs> let's look at any. Let's look at the original people of the Middle East. Let's see what they say they look like. I wonder what the original people of Europe look like. This is all pertaining to law, by the way. Mm -hmm. Remember, they're going to use... Cause, let's go to... 